Today we filed a federal civil rights lawsuit against several deputies with the Mercer County Sheriff's Department who were called to my client's house with a report of a domestic disturbance. And when they got there, whatever domestic disturbance um, that had happened, if any, was over. Instead, they found my client there who was legally possessed with a firearm that he generally open carried. It was on the, around the small of his back area in a retention holster and he wasn't under arrest at that time. There wasn't probable cause to believe that he had committed any crime. Um, and when he encountered law enforcement, he put his hands in the air, he turned around so that they could see that he was armed and he wasn't a threat and they could disarm him if he wanted to. But that's not really the way things went. Um, he ended up being, being disarmed and then after he was disarmed, punched in the face with a closed fist, taken to the ground, punched several more times according to our allegations. I mean, he had his hand boot stomped on the right, uh, I think, think it was his right hand. That actually ended up fracturing his hand. Then he was placed into handcuffs, put in the rear of a police cruiser. And that's when video started. His significant other went and got a phone after, you know, when she saw what was happening and started to film it. And uh, take a look at the video that she filmed and then I'll explain what happened next. You got one of I'm gonna sit right here. There you go. Bitch. You loosen these motherfucking cups out. I'm gonna strip my feet. What? Look at this motherfucking man. Look at this. Stop hitting them, bitch. Stop. Stop hitting them. Stop it. Girl. He, stop. Girl. Stop it. I've known him for stop years. It. Okay, I understand that. But he's got under control. He has got to stop. You don't need to hit him in the face. Stop it. To get him under control. Okay. I know. When someone comes I, you, I can call you a bunch of state troopers That's if you want. Fine. I don't care. All right, then I will. Then I will. We don't care who you call. Do you know who my who, do you know who my stepbrother is? I don't care. No, you when don't. Because he got killed. Come on. He got killed on thirty seven. Bitch, quit. Bitch, no. Bitch, please. Bitch. Don't hit him like that. What about us? Listen. 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 When I tell him to put his hands on his hand, I understand. And he goes to grab his back. I'm gonna protect Hi. me, he and I'm her, sorry. I'm so or him. I know. I'm They're sorry. gonna get your info. I'm taking him to the office. Well, He's I know one. you both, so you don't know my info. You both know my info. I know. She's gonna get your info. I'm yeah. sorry. Man, I'm. What the fuck is wrong with him? He's just drinking vodka. He's drinking vodka like you wouldn't believe. And he got, and his mom, shot. his mom got right. shot a couple years ago, and it got brought up, and he got upset over it. That's it. His mom got killed. Okay. And she, she don't even touch me like that, bitch. You know, you know who she my brother-in-law is. She don't know you. But you know who my brother-in-law is. But here's like, the thing. She's gonna. He's the Interstate 77 guy that got killed last year. We don't need to touch him like that. Sorry, ma'am. I'm not listening to anything you say. When I just, you're I got it. I'm not listening. I got to it. These but I know them too, and I'm a good person, and I do a lot of good things I with you. I understand that. Come but on. when he's fighting and that's going on, I'm really not listening. Hey, I'm How, trying to get you I back. Understand, is that my gun? That's my gun. This is yours. Yes, it's registered to no, me. No, you can go run it. That's mine. No, bitch, no. Run it, please. It's in my name. I swear. Run it. You can get it back. No. That's my fucking gun, though. Really? No, no, they know my info. Don't you come near me. Come on. Bitch, no. <laughs> really? You're going to end up in jail drinking. All right, what? What, Heather? See. Do you see this fucking badge on her yes, chest? Yes, I do, Heather. Do you know what that means? You yes, respect Heather. it. Yes, Heather. You respect Please me. Please don't touch Listen, me. Listen, you respect me. All right? I'm just We're just trying to get an update if you guys need an EMS for either deputies or the other person. I'm not trying to get your attention because you're looking over here. Hey, thanks, Joe. Hey, Texas, right? You used this time? You can't come out with this. You respect her. You hear me? You can't get those pepper spray juice. Then I suggest you stop. Okay, I stop. You feel me? Yeah, I feel you. Hey, Derek, I'm sorry. When we're talking, I get it. I get it. I get it. I'm sorry. Sorry. I guess the rest me next. Uh, I would like my gun back. Can you not run it and give it back? Uh, it's going to be taken for today. You can go back and get it after Monday, probably. Really? Bitch, that's my gun running. I like a out here shooting coon. Uh, 
here. You can't run it though to see that it's registered to me? <laughs> when can I, best when can I get in tomorrow after he talks to us? How much he's like, where's he gonna be? He's gonna be the judge. Where's he gonna be at? After I get him back to the office, call. Okay. Just let me breathe. Let, let me get him to the office and call. Okay. Alright. Watch my kitty. Hold on. Winter, come on. Come on, Winter. Get over here. Alright. Go ahead. She's out. So that's the video that was captured. It didn't unfortunately capture the first use of force where the hand was stomped, where the, the punches took place when, when the encounter began. But this is the, the second count of excessive force that occurred in the rear of the police cruiser itself after my client was already handcuffed and he was in the back of the cruiser. And as you can see on the video, um, unlike what the officer alleged in his police report, where he alleged that the client tried to kick him, clearly you could see on the video that there was no attempt to kick him. Instead, the client is just asking, and, or begging rather, for his handcuffs to be loosened because he had a fractured hand, it was beginning to swell. And instead of helping him, you could see that he was pushed violently back inside the cruiser, he was punched multiple times. Meanwhile, there's another deputy who is lecturing the significant other who was trying to film and lecturing her on respecting the badge and all that you heard it then the deputy who was inflicting the use of force against against her significant other comes up to the video and and explains why he did what he did and you can then see his black armor armored gloves that has that has basically armored knuckles covered in my client's blood uh, there was, uh, the, he was also pepper sprayed at that time, right, right before then, and kind of enclosed in that car to sort of soak in the pepper spray. His hands again behind his back where he can't sort of rub his eyes or, or help himself in any way. Um, you can hear him crying in the background. After a while, he's transported to the sheriff's department. And this is, this is all in the, the complaint, which is up on the civilrightslawyer.com. You can read it for yourself. but. On the way there, they slam on the brakes, stop the car because he's complaining about his eyes and wanting fresh air, complaining about his hands swelling and the handcuffs being too tight. They stop the car. Another officer, excuse me, walks up and opens the door and smacks him, hits him a couple times and tells him to stop being a little you-know-what. So then they transport him to the sheriff's department where they process him. Um, despite his request, they don't give him access to any medical care at one point during the video, you may have heard, he asks, um, or EMS calls, or the dispatcher calls and, and asks if EMS is, is necessary, if there's any, anyone needs medical treatment, and they say no. So they don't give him any medical treatment, not at the, at the scene, not at the sheriff's department, and they end up taking him to jail. And it wasn't until later on, after he got out of jail, that his uh, significant other took him straight to the hospital where they were able to figure out that his hand was fractured. So he needed medical treatment. He was repeatedly denied medical treatment. So not only have we alleged three different counts of excessive force for the initial incident, the second incident in the rear of the cruiser, and then the third incident, which was on the way to the Sheriff's Department. We've also alleged bystander liability for all the police officers who were present and watched this these, these excessive uses of force occur and did, do, did nothing to stop it. And we've also alleged account for denial of medical care um, because the, the officers were aware that he needed medical care, that he was inflicted with, uh, he had violent physical force inflicted upon him 
were perpetrated against him and he needed medical care and he was deprived of that either directly or indirectly. So this was a federal civil rights lawsuit that we filed. Um, again, partially caught on video. This is Mercer County, West Virginia. So I will uh, you know, stay tuned for updates on the thecivilrightslawyer.com and also on here, subscribe, and I will keep you updated as we go. Thank <music> you.